Hey everybody, I hope you are all having a happy Lunar New Year's because it is the year of the ox. And with that, Overwatch has brought back Capture the Flag, Capture the Flag Blitz, and Capture the Flag Competitive Mode. The only difference between Blitz and normal Capture the Flag is Blitz is just a fast paced version where they are a lot closer and there's going to be a lot more fights going on really. So you're going to need a Symmetra in order to put your teleporters to get even more action. But with this new thing of the Lunar New Year's there is Bounty Hunter. There's a lot of things with Bounty Hunter theme right now. Sorry to say it, Fortnite also has a Bounty Hunter theme right now. There's a lot of stuff doing Lunar New Year's and a lot of like intertwining events that I just didn't think was going to happen. But this one says, gain points by killing the target to claim their bounty and become the target yourself. So what I think of this is I haven't actually played it because I don't like free for alls but I'm going to play it later on. Is there's going to be one target, the other five players have to kill that target. But once you become the target, then everyone will chase after you. And whenever you are the target, because there's only one target ever during the game until they get killed and it switches. It raises your health, I'm assuming to almost the level or the level of your health in mayhem mode. And your ultimate meter to full, which is very good. So if you have your ultimate, use it before you're going to kill the person or use it to kill the person that is the target. So you get more use out of it. And you earn bonus points by killing non-target heroes as the target. So whenever you are it and you are being chased, the more people you can kill to survive, it will be both useful for more points and also for a spray I'm fixing to show you guys. So at 4,000 points, you will end up winning that. And when we go into what's new, I'm going to go all the way down to the sprays first just to show you guys and then go back up. There is the not so fast outlaw gained by killing the bounty target while they are using an ultimate ability in bounty hunter. So what that means is you really just got to kill them whenever they are trying to stop you from killing them using their ultimate. So... I imagine it wouldn't be hard because every target gets their ultimate refilled. So you just got to wait for that one moment or get them low and then hope they believe they can kill you. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can do with that. This one is called Pay Up. Unlocks by earning 8 bounties in a game of Bounty Hunter. So it looks like they're about to pounce on somebody. Then it is quick on the draw. It's killing 3 enemies without dying as the bounty target in Bounty Hunter. So from there, there is just the normal ones until you get to Terracotta Squad. This is one of the other ones you can only unlock by doing weekly challenges. This one says participating in the Week of the Ox 2021. What that means is you have to get six wins. Basically, you are almost done with the whole weekly challenge, so might as well complete it all anyway. And then you will get this and we can go down and we can see the nice little ones that hint at the new skins that are on top that I'm fixing to show you guys. This is for the week 2 McCree and his is just going to be the 6th one again. This is also going to be the 6th one for Reaper. And then we can go down. She got the little snake which also goes with one of her other skins up there. These are the normal classic you know competitive ones and then there is Capture the Flag competitive sticker is why you'd want to do your placements and then from there there is the top 500 of course just like there is the hero top 500 for normal competitive and underneath those you actually have the good highlights like I'm pretty sure there's one like this that already exists I don't know why it looks so familiar but then there is fan dance this one looks more unique to me because I don't think we have anything dealing with fans like this and she's flying, so it, it goes more with it because it's twirls. This one just looks really amazing to me. The bull, like this hands down is my best highlight that I think Symmetra's ever had. Like, I really liked getting the Magician skin for her during that past event. Well, I think it was the Maestro one it was called. But it, it's just really nice having that the victory pose. It looks clean. And going up to the skins, there is the Terracotta Medic. I think Terracottas are warriors that you just shouldn't mess with because they're in stone. I think there's supposed to be a stone army of Terracotta that uh, I think China has. But I don't know fully everything about them. All I know is when I watched the trailer, I thought this guy didn't fully load in. But he looks 
pretty dope, honestly. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can hide some places too if you didn't always have like a red outline to the enemy's team uh, around your character. And then there is this McCree, and he looks really nice. Like I like his feathers. His feathers look really nice. I want to say crow feathers, but they look really huge, so I have no idea. But I would think he'd be like a wanderer. He looks clean. Then you can see this dragon leather wearing um, reaper here. I think it honestly looks like a half cut off kimono that he just tried to put on leather. But he looks cool and his mask for some reason reminds me of him having a mustache for some reason. Like it's pointing going down off his mouth. But this one looks clean mainly because not of her. I think she looks okay but I, like, I think this tiger looks really good. So your ultimate's going to be looking really nice. Like it's going to look really good. And this Bastion of course is the dragon. I like how it has a face on there. It would be kind of funny if the eyes just kind of turned and tracked people when he went into turret mode. That would be hilarious. And also like really trippy. But his bird is also a, I want to say it's a lantern. So I want to say it's a candle with the little orange part in his chest. And then from here this is Kachi. I think that's how you would pronounce the skin. It is a bird skin for Echo. She looks really good too. And then there is Bull Demon. I think they could have used the smoke here from the back of him on the sides and his head a little bit more, like even just on his feet. That way, every time he walked, it left kind of like a ghost uh, bull kind of thing on the floor behind his steps. Even if it only lasted two seconds, it'd be like a really nice trail. And there is the Pale Serpent. As you can see, Widow has her little poison shot on her arm like normal. Except with the white serpent on it, it just looks like it's going to be a poisonous snake. And I don't know why I like this skin. I don't even play Widow. I'm not good at sniping um, in like any game. But she just looks really nice. I think if I were to buy a skin, it'd be this one right now. That or Bastion. Because I'm hoping I just get this one from a loot box. And then there is the Sparkler Kitty pose right here. The cat's just amazed by that Sparkler. You go down and got the dragon with her healing ability. He's giving out, I want to say it's a wish card because I know there's a different thing where they put like wishes on trees. Um, but that might be something else. And then these are voice lines, so I'm kind of just going to go over them real quick. So you can kind of see them or read them, maybe even hear them in the back even. But it's a lot of stuff they added and it just looks really good. So that's the reasons why you would want to play arcade, not just for the, you know, the sprays, but I'm not sure this might end up being just a fun mode and then you can get your nine weekly wins and then they'll also count for your week one challenges and you'll have the terracotta as well. And if you don't have time, again, my recommendation with capture the flag brought back is capture the flag blitz because I played a game of it. I won the game of it. And it's honestly pretty fast. It doesn't take too long. There's 12 players, capture 6 flags, but they're right next to each other. And you might even find somebody who's AFK. And then there's also reward boxes from doing the recommended ones that it just shows with reward boxes. For me, it's the 8 player uh, mystery deathmatch, which I am probably not going to play. Because I will never get within the top 4 of that for some reason. But aside from that, hope you guys are having fun with this event. Hope you guys found this informal. Hopefully you guys can get on and play if you didn't know this was happening. Because um, there's a lot of good stuff. Like Echo looks really nice. Arissa looks really nice. The Terracotta looks clean as heck. Like he really looks amazing. These look really good. So hopefully you guys can get back on Overwatch. Hopefully you like this. Hopefully you can subscribe and like the video. Um, tell me what you guys think of the event, what you guys are thinking of any other games that have events like this, because I know there are quite a few. Uh, this morning when I was checking, it was like six games that I haven't played in a while that all had Lunar New Year's events, which I was surprised by. So if you know any other like type of games that have some, comment them down below, anything you need to comment. And just thanks for watching. Peace.